Welcome to this magnetization video. Um, this one's on the Sun Shark Bomber and Razor Shark Fighter. Uh, like I said in the Riptide video, I got this model a long time ago, uh, maybe almost two years ago when Miniature Market stopped doing uh, uh, GW stuff and everything went on sale to 50 to 70 percent off. Um, even so, they're still expensive and I wanted to uh, maximize this for my son and his towel and I apologize up front just like I did in the last video. I don't know the names of all the Tau stuff. Uh, I just like to build them. Um, anyway, total magnets you'll need for this one is six. I used 3 16 by 1 32nd magnets. You could use 3 16 by 1 16 um, Either way would be fine. Uh, and then it takes one uh, 1 8th by 1 16 So a total of seven magnets, six 3 16 uh, diameter magnets, and one 1 8th diameter magnet. All right, so the two places where things on on them are different, uh, other than the drones, is on the tail here, uh, what goes on top and bottom, and on the front uh, mounting, gun mounting. So for the bomber configuration, uh, we'll start with the front. Uh, for the uh, fighter, it's a heavy burst cannon, so this here. And for the bomber, it uses this little electronics array on the front, uh, I'm assuming to find your it's a bomb sighting array. I'm sure it has a, a, a Tau name. Um, so what I did is because they use this same uh, turret mount, uh, I took the heavy burst cannon and you can see where the uh, burst cannon, the burst cannon piece here uh, used to connect right there where those magnets are. So what I did is I just took an X-Acto blade, cut it right at that base, uh, and then I glued uh, 3 16 inch magnets there. That way you can still have the movement because it still sits on its pegs. You still glue this normally. Um, uh, so you still have that movement there. Uh, and then what I did for this array is this is where the 1 1 8 magnet, you can see it in there. And I just glued it. You can see where the, the, the raised pieces that were to mount there, you know, they fit in like that. Well, what I did is I just laid that magnet in there. You don't do any drilling or anything. You just I laid it flat down on this piece right there, and that way it just connects to that magnet. Um, and there's your array. Um, then it's simply when it's the bomber, you put this piece on, and I'm just trying to, you know, it's just like a Lehman Rust turret. That piece on, and when you're ready for it to be a fighter, take that off put the burst cannon on. You still can move the burst cannon around. Let's see if I can get this. Such a wide model, hard to keep it all in focus. Still move that up and down. All right. Now to make it into or the tailpiece, the, the issue with the tailpiece is you got this hole here. And once again, you're stuck with uh, needing duplicate parts. Um, so the two options, or the way they're different, is for the fighter, you have this piece on top, and then you have a quad ion cannon on the on the bottom. Uh, uses the same Lehman Russ esque turret piece. Um, for the bomber, you have a missile pod, which you can actually on the fighter you can use that on the front instead of the burst cannon if you want. And then it goes on with the same. This one's really tight for some reason, but uh, goes on with the same thing uh, like the other mounts. Um, but on the bottom you have this array, another electronics kind of array. Um, that in and of itself is not a problem, except that to mount it, it uses the same, this piece here is the same that goes on there so that you can connect it. Uh, so what I elected to do was I just made the ion uh, cannon the normal mount. So in the fighter position, this is the, you just slide it on. There it is. It'll spin all the way around. And I actually elected to just lay this in there since it sits upright. Once it crashes, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna model it upside down or anything. So I'll just lay that in there. Um, if you wanted, it's not worth your effort to do anything other than that. 
for the bomber configuration, what I did is because of this hole, I put two uh, of the three sixteenths magnets in each of these spots. I didn't drill or anything. Um, probably would have been better even to use the uh, one sixteenth uh, size. Actually, I think I'm. Um, and then what I do is you can put this in here, rotate it around. And between the, the friction of the bottom here and the two magnets, it, it holds. Um, mostly magnet, but uh, a little bit of friction. If for some reason yours won't hold that way, you could just stack another magnet and that would probably be enough. To deal with this other piece, um, because I don't want it in there, you could glue it in if you don't care that it's there all the time, but it would get in the way of your ion cannon when it's, when it's spun around facing front. Um, I just put magnets in both of those spots. You won't notice that when it's in the fighter configuration. And then they just slide in like that. So you have your funky thing, whatever this uh, electronics array is called. Um, and that is really it for how to magnetize it. So um, right here I will just show the conversion if I can. So. All right, so you've got your electronics array. Um, so there's the bomber configuration. To simply make it a fighter now, that, pull this piece off, unmagnetize those. Oops, sorry, slide that on, that on top, and now you have a fighter. Um, very, very simple. Uh, easy to do um, and then if you want the missile pods on the front instead of the burst cannon I don't know what's better uh, it's just simply slides on uh, just like anything else all right now the last piece to talk about are the drones this is the drone body that comes with it um, for the fighter configuration, you have this piece here. Um, slide that in, they, they fly like that. Um, the problem is that there's one piece that doubles up under there uh, that you, you have to choose. And it only comes, the ion cannons from the ion cannon back here are the same ones you're supposed to use on the sides of the two drones. Um, everybody who plays Tau, I'm sure, has extra drone bodies around. So all I did is I took the fins that came with this, I glued them on the bottom of a drone, um, and it, because I didn't have in my bitch drawer anywhere ion cannons, I just used the pulse carbine pieces and glued them on uh, to the side uh, of the posts here. Uh, as soon as I get some ion cannons, I'll make another pair that does that. But these are now are sort of proxy interceptor drones that just sit in there. Um, not the best solution, uh, but it's what I've got for now. If, if I had ion rifles, it would be perfectly fine and you'd never know the difference. Uh, so, that is a Sunshark Bomber Razor Shark Fighter. Six, or seven total magnets, uh, six three sixteenths, one one eighth. Uh, a little bit of modding of some extra drone bodies I had uh, to make the extra drones. Um, and the reason I went this way instead of this way with the fake body is this does not fit on one of these bodies very easily at all. Uh, so that is uh, that is it. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to dig through my models and see what else I've got that I can play with. Until next time, have a great day.